On February 1st, France's government agency responsible for archiving French radio and television, the Institut National de l'Audiovisuel, or INA, and the Library of Congress shared some 500 hours of audiovisual archives as part of a three-year partnership between the two public libraries. It's a great honor for me as chairman and CEO of the French National uh, Audiovisual Institute called INA in French, to be in Washington to celebrate the signing of uh, our agreement with such a prestigious institution as the Library of Congress. Tonight, we will see a beautiful documentary on Marilyn Monroe as a great example of the already fruitful collaboration between France and the US. Show over. Marilyn has a few free minutes, which the camera captures. What she does is revealing the camera almost indiscreet. This unprecedented cultural collaboration will allow researchers on both sides of the Atlantic to gain insights into the ways that the two countries have observed one another in the past 110 years. What we're showing tonight tries to follow the theme of the evening, which is how have our two cultures viewed each other and handled or shown each other in modern media? One is American in Paris, and no, you will not be seeing Gene Kelly this evening. To the American soldier in Europe, Paris is still the city of light. It's all there, just like the pictures in his own dreams. The Arc de Triomphe, the great broad boulevards and squares, all the buildings and bridges that make Paris perhaps the most beautiful city in the world. The digital files will be available for research in the library's motion picture reading room and INA's consultation center at the National Library of France in Paris. A wide selection of public domain titles will be made available for global online access via the World Digital Library.